What's up guys, Xantos here, and today we are going to be exploring the Dark Tour event yet again. Taking a quick peek at the level 45 portal and the weapon that I'm using in it, just so you guys have a bit of an idea. Uh, for this run today, we're going to be using Titania and Garen. The reason that we're going to be doing this is because Titania has an amazing heal with a mage build. You're going to be able to buff yourself back up with focus as well and protect if you get hit with that doom. It's very ideal. As well, we're bringing uh, the previous Dark Tour event hero, Garen. Now, Garen is an amazing hero for the level 45 portal due to the fact that he can delay the enemy's doom that they can use on you that hits you extremely hard. Uh, the delay factor is just extremely useful in the level 45 portal. Very, very ideal. As well, his rage has the ability to spread out acid everywhere on the field and just chunk away on those cult enemies. It's uh, very useful. Works against the militia enemies as well. As you can see to start this round, we're getting that acid out on the field. Slice the one on the right twice, and then hit him with the delay. Garen's base power hits extremely hard too. I don't have uh, any warrior charms in my equipment whatsoever, so all of your all, all that you're seeing here is just uh, him doing his damage on his own. No boosts. Nice easy event points. Now we were lucky enough to uh, get the big boss twice on this run. Uh, when you're going up against this enemy, he's not like his uh, minions that he has in front. Uh, he builds his power on his own, it doesn't matter how many times you hit him. So when you do get into a room with him, I like attacking him as soon as possible and killing him ASAP. Again, Garen's base power delay coming in clutch. And we're able to take him out without him implementing his Doom ability. Buff up with Focus, heal with Titania. And you notice we attack the Militia enemy before going to the cult because we didn't want to hit him three times and have him get his doom factor. We knew that if we had four hits we were able to take him out. Kill him in three but we're, we're just playing safe with that method. The doom mechanic is uh, a little bit tricky due to the fact that uh, you can't dispel it with any potions. Uh, Tristan can't dispel it for you. Any of the heroes that dispel negative status effects actually can't help you with the uh, Doom. Once you're hit with Doom, it's going to tick on you the next turn, so you have to keep that in mind. Managed to get Fury with my sword there. Slice and dice through those last few archer enemies. And we're into the last floor. Getting that acid out on the field. Two swipes. And then bounce to the other enemy so that he doesn't get his doom. With four swipes, we're managed, we managed to take him out with, uh, without having to use Garen's base power. Saving that base power for the back row. We get hit with the Doom there. 
It's all right though. We've managed to uh, keep our health up for majority of the match. We also have uh, Titania if we need her. But we're able to take him out without a heal. So it was a fairly good run. I was fairly pleased with that run. What did we snag here? We got uh, 2,145. Now on this uh, second run here, I decided to bring Vordry instead of Titania along with Garen. So we went with a, a little bit more of a blitz method. Um, Vordry is fairly useful in these situations because his base power doesn't count as a hit and you can hit as many enemies in the front row as there are. Two swipes on the first enemy, two swipes on the other. Neither, neither of them get their doom mechanic. Delay the doom mechanic, then spread out the fire. Now we unfortunately get hit with a doom there. Make sure to make that, uh, I think, one of the only ones on this run. I'm fairly sure we, uh, we attempt not to get hit with it again. Starting off, since there's three in the front row, Vordry's burn, working nicely. Attacking the first enemy twice, then bouncing to the other so that they don't get the doom mechanic. May sound like I'm repeating myself, but uh, I really want to stress that uh, that doom mechanic can take you out extremely quick. Make sure to delay it as often as you can. Burn them up a little bit more. I decide to use uh, Garen's here because um, when you have a lot of mage charms and you're facing cult enemies and you use Vordry's Rage, it can really chunk away at your health. You'll see in the final floor of, uh, of this run, I end up using a Vordry Rage, but uh, it's when I know that I'm safe and comfortable. And you'll see how much damage it does to my health. It's insane. Burning all those enemies in the front row. Slicing and dicing with that cult sword. This is actually the, uh, the same cult sword that I had from last Dark Tour. I built this sword specifically for Dark Tour, and uh, I remember I loved it. I, I never ended up sacrificing it to the lady with all of the mythic gear and whatnot, and uh, it's still actually one of my favorite swords. As you can see, it's kicking ass for me still. One of my classic sayings, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. See those status ailments just working away on these cult enemies. Really nice and useful so that uh, you get those bonus ticks once it's their turn. And then uh, you can take them down a little bit quicker before they get their doom mechanic. And we're into the final floor of this Dark Tor level 45 portal run through video. Starting things off with the burn. Is this the one that I do it? Yeah. As you can see here, big blast with the Vordry. But look at my health after that. <clears throat> seriously chunked away at my own health there you got to be careful with a lot of mage charms and facing a big bundle of cult enemies that you don't end up whacking yourself
Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. And that right there was a 2,250 portal run. Now, to wrap up this video, we're actually going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be bouncing over to Super Nintendo, and uh, he's going to be just giving us some of uh, this week's riddle answers. If you ever have uh, questions for any of the riddles, this guy's page is absolutely phenomenal to tune into. He always does the uh, answers to riddles every week. Super handy. Definitely uh, should check him out and subscribe to him. All right, I'll let you take over, Super Nintendo. Alrighty, Xantos, thanks for that. Hey, I'm super excited that we're actually finally working together. Planning this for a little bit. Hopefully, more to come. But definitely, if you are one of my Super Nintendo fans, definitely go like his page. He does super awesome guides with like weapon builds, uh, what heroes to use during certain things. It's awesome. I mean, I use I use this help a lot. So. <laughs> Go check him out. So, back to the riddles. So there are no riddles this week, you know, it's the off week, but there are four new event quests that we're gonna quickly go over. And when I say quickly, we can finish three of them in one spot. So, all right, let's go through the first three riddles. I'm gonna fire them up and show you where to go. So the first one is solar power. With the inquisitation seeking domination, we need strong heroes to defeat the cult menace. Many speak in hush tones of the power of Sola, who fought in the battle of Arcan. Seek out her strength. So in this one, all you have to do is use Sola. She is strong versus cult hero. Uh, everybody should have her about now. Uh, very easy to get her early on in the game. But you want to use her base power three times and her rage power once. But we're going to continue with the other riddles so I can show you where it all to go. All right, so the other one is showing off. You've been gathering a decent set of gear. Time to put it to good use and show me that you can actually use it. So this one right here was we just have to kill 50 enemies with a weapon. Any weapon. Just make sure you... Hit him with the weapon. All right, the third one that we're all gonna complete in the same zone is gonna be Number of the Beast. With so many knights focusing on the portal, the local beast population are getting out of hand. Hunt these beasts and keep the locals safe. So this one we have to defeat six wolves, six dark fowl, and six bears. So again, I've been saying we're gonna complete all three of these quests in one spot. So you want to go over to the hunts and look for the Baron Hunt. This one right here, you can do it on normal and heroic. Uh, you'll have the chance to, well, fight wolves, darkfowl, and bears. So you can just do these over and over again. Use Sola as one of the heroes, wham bam. If you want to go through it a little quicker to finish the, the Sola one, I would recommend using kind of like a rage potion. Don't forget to use potions, guys. A lot of people still don't use potions and well I abuse the crap out of them so these ones are super easy uh, you, like I said you can get them all done in this one area and well there's one more quest and hopefully you're in a guild for this one because it is seahorse in a ram the quisitin report worships a giant insanity inducing creature defeat this creature may shake their faith so this one right here is you got about battle uh, Glashton, which is the seahorse event boss. So a lot of people like my guild, we like to do the first 24 hours using a level one gray weapon with, with only healing heroes. So everybody can take a turn, you know, 24 hours, then wham, bam, defeat it. But this one right here, make sure you actually take them down a full health bar. So make sure you make it to round two to complete this one. I know a lot of people don't want to go that hard, but go a little hard just to complete this one. All right, so that was all of it. I'm super excited for the model. This is my first collaboration with another YouTuber. Again, go check out Xantos, his YouTube channel. The book is awesome. He's starting to do some gaming stuff on there too. Love watching Nuzlocke's of Pokemon. He has some of those too. Go check them out again. And, well, that was the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave 
leave a thumbs up and if you didn't put a thumbs down also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and slam that bell also for Xantos's YouTube channel and well leave a comment down below what do you think about this collab and well would you like to see us do some more videos together and like I say in all my videos guys peace